Welcome to video 7 on Microsoft Flight Simulator. We'll have a look at the slew function, which gives us the option to quickly reposition our airplane. Let's have a go. We're flying near Locarno in Italy and near the airport and well to invoke uh, the slew mode to toggle it on off we can press the Y key on the keyboard and that stops the plane and gives us a camera view uh, right behind the tail. From here we have translations or rotations. Uh, let's do the translations first. For that we can use numerical keys 8 and 2 to go forward and backward. I'm pressing 8 right now. Well, that speed is uh, yeah, incredible. It is not uh, changeable, so this is the speed that you get when you use the keyboard, which is not very nice for accurate positioning if you want to place your airplane on a grass strip somewhere yeah it might be preferable to bind an additional joystick to these slew mode controls you can also move left and right those are keys four and six this is four and uh, yeah to my opinion it is just the opposite uh, movement so maybe i would prefer to exchange those two to move up we have two options slow and fast let's first go slow which is f3 and well that is quite quite a slow and then we have f4 to go up fast we can of course also go down i personally would have expected those to be f1 and f2 but that's not the case uh, to go down fast it is f1 and to go down slow it is a. Well, of course, if you don't like these bindings and would like to change them to ones that you can remember, then go to the control panel and change them. Let's go to the rotations then. First we have yaw, which is keys 1 and 3. This is key 1 and this is key 3. And again, I would personally exchange those two. Then we have pitch to pitch down. We can press F8. Uh, it does it in steps and those are rather big steps. Uh, to go back up we have F5. That also does it in steps. We can also do small steps with up that is F7. That is quite strange. Why is that not F6? I don't know. Uh, and with down there is no to go down slowly there is no key binding by default so again here i think it is uh, wise to create your own uh, slew key bindings ones that you can remember this roll which is numerical key seven and nine if i press seven i start rolling uh, if I press again it goes faster and then yeah, to stop rolling I have to press 9 or to go the other way around I have to repeatedly press 9. Well this works uh, yeah, interesting, I, I, I wonder why it doesn't work like this with the pitch. Uh, yeah, maybe it does because there is also a pitch freeze button but with me that doesn't do anything so pitch can only be done in these strange large steps. Well, all in all, it works. Uh, however, uh, for fine control, it is much, much, much nicer to allocate joystick. And because we, uh, if you are in slew mode, your plane doesn't fly anymore. So you already have your own joystick or your uh, steering wheel or what, what are you using. Um, and rudder pedals uh, you can bind those you don't even need an additional joystick uh, however that would be handy but you can use your standard flying joystick and i did that look what happens i can i'm pushing my stick forward now and i can fly really really uh, yeah beautiful wonderful slow and fast if i like to and backwards and i can do the raw and I can do the uh, 
uh, up and down movements and it is all much better controllable this way this is by binding some joysticks to it uh, can I also roll yes I can also roll slow and fast and of course I created a binding for a reset oh wait I forgot to mention that with the keyboard the reset uh, button is control space I don't know if it's bound by default uh, I, I seem to remember with me it was not but uh, and in other cases the F key has been the default reset key okay but let's suppose that we made some yeah uh, terrible changes uh, and we we went uh, up and down and and uh, we ended up wrong then control space brings you back but it also points the plane north again yeah i don't know why it is not at zero but it is at three five nine but anyhow it 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 resets your slew mode uh, to fly level and point north well let's have a quick look at uh, how we can change those bindings because those are yeah rather strange for keyboard of course first press the keyboard over here then go to all then uh, maybe collapse if that's not already done camera slew mode and here well we have all those keys and uh, yeah they were not very intuitive uh, so to say L let's say f1 is moved down fast then i would say f2 is moved down slow but no that was the a key and there are some other strange things happening here so you can make your own keys here but of course you can also allocate uh, a, a flight stick and then have a look what happens uh, where are we i don't know collapse all camera slew and then you can use your joystick to do certain movements in slew mode and that of course gives very nice and fine control well this was it about well i think we covered all the camera activities so maybe we can have a start with doing some uh, instrument navigation in the next video.